On this week's Swarf and Chips, me and Tom have travelled near Cambridge to a company called DGF Engineering. Tom, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. Can we go in? Let's go and have a look. So this week we're at DGF Engineering and we're going to take a nosy around the machine shop because they've let us. But quickly, Tom, where have you just come out of? I've just walked out of their inspection room. Okay, so what benefits are an inspection room to a customer? Well, they've got a CMM in their inspection room which can give you a detailed report. So when you send that part to your customer, yeah. you know it's right. Okay, so it's a huge benefit then of having oh, a CMM. Definitely. They're very overlooked, I think, in the industry. So quickly, we're going to take a look at this Haas three-axis machine. So let's just open the door for you. So in here, obviously, you can see we've got a standalone vice. Um, and we've just got one like pin part in there, Tom, haven't we? Yeah. Talk to us about so this part. This is the part that they're doing. It's a turn part with a slot in it. So what we have here is a, is a turn part, which would have probably done on their new investment yeah and then they put it into the miller just to put that little slot in okay so it's probably beneficial for them to move it from uh, a turning machine sorry a lathe to a milling machine because of the length of cut um, and uh, different things like that so yes. um, like we said they've turned it first and then they've moved it so utilizing their CNC machines another part we've got here this looks great this is a lovely part which actually started out as a billet Okay, and then that's they, a lot of swarf to be removed. It, it's, it's a lot of swarf to get no bend. Yes. So in here, the, we've got drilled holes, uh, drilled and tapped holes, counterbores, uh, tolerance to counterbores. That's a big thing, isn't it? And then quite, like you said, quite a lot of material removed as well. And I think, as you can tell, the finish on that is amazing. Yeah, so behind us as well, which they probably are working on, they've got a brand new microlock system, which they've just invested in. Um, Leon said it is a great attribute uh, to their machine shop. And this is just one in their small range, but later on in the show, I'm gonna be showing you a bigger one in the range. I've also got a part here, Tom. Do you wanna talk about this one? No, that one's definitely for you and your expertise on turning. Expertise, he says. <laughs> okay, so what we've got is a turn part here. We've got a knurl on the outer edge. We've also got a groove in uh, going into the center. We've also got a th uh, tap um, in the middle, in the hole. Coming through, we've got a bore um, through there and obviously, Oh, I've missed a hole on the face there and obviously we've just turned it down. So, great part and obviously as you can see, they're all different parts in this in this place, aren't they? Yeah, so they don't really do doing... much production, do they? No, so what are they doing as a company now? So they are just a little subcontract company, they will do anything and everything. Yeah, so subcontractors, obviously they're dealing with different materials, they're dealing with different processes. Yes. There isn't anything they won't try. Okay, that's great. So I'm going to leave you with Liam now anyway. Yes. So I am now talking with Liam, who's going to give us a bit of background on DGF Engineering. Yeah, so DGF was formed in 2005 uh, by my dad. Uh, he'd been engineering all his life, um, been made redundant from a few different companies, and our current main supplier um, asked him if he'd be interested in setting up on his own. So he did. They provided some work to begin with, um, and we've grown and grown since that point. That's a, that's a great story. And we're actually stood in front of your latest investment, yeah. which is a... So it's a Dugard Smec SL2000M uh, with live tooling. So what were some of the options you got with the lathe? So we've got Heimbuck Collet Chuck, uh, which allows you to grip completely round diameter on various different sizes. Uh, bar puller to allow just you know, productivity so I can get 10 pieces out of a meter, if not more. Swarf conveyor um, and yeah, and live tooling as the most important one. And this is, this is the part you're actually making now. Can you just talk us through a little bit about what's happening? So we've got a uh, turning, conventional turning, uh, boring, milling, drilling and thread milling on that part. And on that, you're actually doing it out of just one, one lump of steel yep, and yep. pulling it out into a little part. That's it. Yeah, one length is about 600 mil long, and I'll get about 20 components out of that bar. So, what's been your overall opinion on your new wave? Yeah, really, really impressed. Um, like I say, solid, solid. Does cuts all day, no problem at all. That's great. Um, I, I'm now going to move over to Chloe, who's going to talk to us about work holding. 
So earlier we were talking about the Microlux system and how they had it on the house. And this one, look at it, is an absolute beast. Takes up the whole table. And as you can see, we actually asked Liam to stop the machine mid-cut so we could have a look. So obviously, as you can see, we've got the raw billets in here. Um, and to the left, you can see how it started to mill out the profile. Uh, we've got 10 setups in here, which can be uh, added more added less we can also put a big long meter bit of material in there so you can utilize your machine to how you want it just using a micro lock table like this and we're just going to quickly tom have a look at these parts here so obviously we saw the we saw the um the raw billet in there so this is what it's cutting on uh op one so as you can see it's it's used for a medical part isn't it yes um for a part that's coming on the lathe. Okay, so this is going to be done in two shots. So this one is the first bit, so we're milling out quite a bit of swarf there. Um, and then Tom's got and the... this is up two. So what have we got application-wise on this, Tom? So we've got roughing out, haven't we? But what are the, what are the so features we've got? So you've got a nice chamfer on the back, two holes with counter bores, another little hole through with counter bore as well. And if you look, Oh, and we've also got a slot on the back with another hole in. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this part, isn't there? Yeah. So if we're doing 10 at a time, this micro lot is being used to its absolute, absolute maximum, and we're getting the maximum amount of parts off in one hit. But look at this amazing piece of engineering. Okay, so this has come from an aluminium billet. As you can see, there's so many profiles in there, so many features. So we've took out a load of material here. We've got two slots. They've also been chamfered on the sides. We've also got slots, drilled holes. This is a circular island, a drilled hole. And then I turn it over as well. And look at all that excess material that's been taken out. Um, we've also got a, a edged slot there and um, a lot more other things on it. So have you enjoyed this walk around, DGF? I have, hotel? yes, and I've learned quite a lot because the work holding I'd never seen or used before. So would you invest in a micro lock system now seeing it? Would you would you promote it to other people? Oh definitely I wouldn't why wouldn't you? It's so versatile. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Swarf and Chips to take a look around the engineering company, DGF Engineering. If you are just like a company like DGF Engineering, get in touch and we'll see you at the next one.